I'm the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. Honorary Knight? I'm Noelle, a maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, oh, apologies. I've yet to officially join the Knights. As a maid, and in order to be worthy of this armor, I'm currently undergoing the Knights of Favonius chivalric training. Yes, I haven't passed the selection trials yet, but I've been asking senior knights for advice on how to become a true Knight of Favonius. I asked Amber how to make a Baron Bunny. Oh, and Kai has been keeping me busy with various small tasks. <laughs> I even asked the Spark Knight to pass on her experiences, although Master Jean grounded us shortly after. Actually, I have always wanted to receive guidance from the Honorary Knight. I, I was worried that it might be too presumptuous to ask. I I've seen you on the streets of Mondstadt occasionally, but I've always been too busy to disturb you. I just finished today's cleaning for the knights and was about to start my training when I saw you. I... Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? So, as a senior knight, this is your suggestion? But as a maid, I'm only authorized to deal with smaller tasks. The Knights of Favonius is the strongest shield that Mondstadt has. How can I defend the people if I'm only ever dealing with minor matters? That's why I've always wanted to become a real Knight of Favonius. To have the power to help more people. Huh? <laughs> You're joking, <laughs> right? I thought the Honorary Knight would only ever be busy with powerful enemies, like Storm Terror. Well, that is true. Come to think of it, whenever I see you in Mondstadt, you do always seem to be in a hurry. And the fact is, you're hurrying to help others. Oh, okay. Back to Mondstadt it is. Time for today's training to officially begin. Your point of view on these matters has truly been eye-opening for me. I have a lot to learn. Just like you said, from now on, I'm going to treat helping people with smaller tasks as a part of my training. Just thinking about it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Wow, Noelle's motivated all right. She's got that give me a commission before I take them all vibe. Anyone! Anyone! Who's that? I, I need to help. Noelle! Oh, she's so fast. Let's catch up with her. There, there. Take your time. Try and take a deep breath first. Uh, and finally, I, I was saved. Well, my name's Noelle. Don't worry, sir. Everything's all right. I'll be protecting you from now on. So, where are you from? I don't think we've met in Mondstadt before. Thanks. I... I'm not from Mondstadt. My name is Aloise. I'm a traveling merchant. I was on my way to Mondstadt to acquire some of the reputed local wines, so I could take them back to Lyra. Little did I know... Uh, little did I know I'd run into savage monsters on the way. I mean, savage. They were twice my height. I was so scared I ran all the way here until I just couldn't run anymore. Thank goodness I found you in this 
Uh, maid! It's okay, Mr. Aloise. We're not far from Mondstadt. Although I'm just an ordinary maid, the small task of escorting a visitor to the city is certainly within my power. Uh, uh escort me to Mondstadt? Perfect! Let's go! But, wait a moment. As a traveling merchant, you must have luggage and some goods. Don't worry. No matter the quantity, I'll carry them for you. Uh, luggage? Goods? Uh, yes. I remember now. The, the savage monsters I encountered? That's when I lost them. No, no, no need. These monsters are ferocious. Uh, three times my height. Oh, rest easy. This is Mondstadt's honorary knight. No monster is too ferocious for her. Uh, honorary knight? Then you're a member of the Knights of Favonius? I, uh... I... I can't remember exactly. I, I was too busy running. P probably near that crossing in front of us. B but I can't be sure. Oh, never mind. Wait! Wait a minute! My chest! <laughs> A sudden pain in my chest. It must be all that running. Let's look for those things a little bit later. Oh, chest pain? Here, I've got you. Hold my arms and lie down slowly. Now do your best to relax. I will examine you. Uh, perhaps I... I'm sorry. I must stay here to watch over our visitor. It looks like you'll need to handle the monsters. Oh, and please be careful. No, no, it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll be fine with a bit of rest. Don't worry about me. Sorry. If you really don't want to be examined, I still need to take care of you. Strange. No trace of any large monsters here. Whoa. Here they come! Ha! Back at ya! Senior Knight. Did you see Mr. Aloise's luggage on the way? 
So there were monsters. Didn't I tell you? It's dangerous. Oh, you're not hurt, are you? Um, what I meant was, when they jumped, they were thrice, um, they're twice as tall as me. Why are you looking at me like that? Even if they were only slimes, I couldn't have fought them off. Oh, what can we do? If even the honorary knight can't find them? <laughs> I'm just a traveling merchant. You never know what's going to happen out here. Oh well, looks like Mondstadt was never meant to be. Perhaps next time. I'm very sorry. In these circumstances, I must ask you to register the quantity and nature of your lost property with the Knights of Favonius. I know that the Knights will do their best to help you recover your goods. Ah! Uh, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly trouble the Knights of Favonius. This matter, it really is beneath them. On the contrary, it's the duty of the Knights to look after any visitors traveling to and from Mondstadt. As a maid, I must do my best in receiving and escorting such visitors. But then, perhaps there's something keeping you from going to the Knights? <laughs> no, absolutely nothing. Hmm? Everything okay? Well, actually, I noticed that too. But since we don't have any evidence of wrongdoing, he deserves the benefit of the doubt. This gentleman was seeking help at the gates of Mondstadt, which makes him a guest of the city. Therefore, I must carry out my maidly duties. Ah, <sighs> thank you for understanding. Hey, what are you discussing? So, what's next? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. We've talked it over, and we've decided to escort you back to Mondstadt. Time to begin work? Honorary Knight and Noel, were you two out on a mission? Wait, who is this person behind you? Uh, my name is Aloise. I'm a humble merchant. Ah, Mondstadt welcomes you, strange yet respectable traveler. Please state your identity and purpose. The Knights of Favonius are here to ensure your safety. Uh, <clears throat> I came to Mondstadt to import wines back to Lyre. I see, but... Are you not carrying any luggage or goods? I also don't see your name among the wine merchants that Mondstadt regularly deals with. I, it's my first time visiting Mondstadt, but I expect to come back often. Hmm. In that case, please show me the relevant documents issued by Liu's Ministry of Civil Affairs. I need to verify your identity. Huh? What on earth is the mint? Oh, right, right. I, um, put them in my luggage. Luggage? Oh, our apologies. This gentleman was just attacked by a monster and lost both his luggage and his goods. Could you allow him to calm down a bit before we register him with the Knights? Hmm. According to Article 10 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook, caution should be exercised with regard to unfamiliar visitors. But Article 2 of the Knights of Favonius Handbook also says that one must not offend our visitors, right? Hmm. <sighs> well... In this situation, it seems the Knights of Favonius Handbook has a bit of an overlap. Hmm. If Noel is willing to vouch for him, then I can rest easy. Oh, I'm just doing my job. Most reliable. I've got a ways to go, but I will try to live up to that. Well then, I'm counting on you two to take care of this gentleman while he's in Mondstadt. So, you're a wine merchant? Oh, you must have excellent wine knowledge. Would you like to rest a while at Angel's Share? It's our signature tavern. Such a warm welcome. 
How could I refuse? Ah, uh, Angel's share. So this barrel must be full with Mondstadt's celebrated wine, right? If only it could be imitated. Oh, uh, imported. That's the word. Sorry to keep you waiting. Drink up. This is a dandelion wine-based cocktail. I asked the bartender to add calla lily because it has a calming effect. I know you've been on the road for a long time, and cold drinks would be bad for your stomach. So I requested less ice. I hope it's to your liking. Calming? Is this what they give to all visitors in Mondstadt? <laughs> okay then. On another note, that drink's made me realize just how empty my stomach is. Oh, so you're hungry too. Oh, how terrible of me. If I'd realized, I would have saved some pancakes for you. Oh, good idea. That sounds like a good place. Let the wind lead. Go as play! Take it back, Allie. I shouldn't get caught buying alcohol. And a rat <laughs> truly is fascinating. It's mm. Smells incredible. So it's true. If you really want to sell Mondstadt wines, you can't do without Mondstadt dishes. Maybe recipes will be easier to obtain than the brewing process. Oh, uh, what I mean is, the dandelion wine brewing process is unique, difficult to imitate. That's why we merchants can buy with confidence. <laughs> Where was I? Let's see. What's on the menu? Hmm. So many dishes. Hard to decide. Can I help? Uh, sure. What do you suggest? Hmm. Well, do you prefer red meat or white? I like them both. The steaks here are cuts of freshly shipped Springvale boar. I'd recommend having it served medium to really bring out the natural sweetness of the meat. Mmm. Oh, sweet madame is another specialty. Crispy skin and tender meat goes perfectly with wine. However, those dishes alone aren't very healthy from a nutritional standpoint. I recommend a mushroom pizza and a satisfying salad, too, on the side. If that sounds okay, I'll place the order for you. This meal is on me, to make up for my inattentiveness. That's too generous of you. Please, enjoy. After all, it's your first meal here as a new visitor. And your last. I wouldn't want to give you the cold shoulder. Huh? <laughs> my, my last? Uh, you give this meal to all new visitors, right? <laughs> okay, then. How about with wind comes glory? For our final stop, I want to leave Mr. Aloise with something to commemorate his time here. So, that's the final stop, yes? Wait, what are we commemorating? Today's recommendation is the steak. Oh, here's your order, Noel. Thanks, Marjorie. Mr. Eloise, please accept this souvenir. Uh, thanks. I will treasure this wood carving for a... Huh? Wait. What's on that? Is that the insignia of the Knights of Favonius? I, Maid Noel, on behalf of Mondstadt and the Knights of Favonius, officially welcome you. Wait. Knights of Favonius? How can you be both a maid and a part of the Knights of Favonius? So, so this gift is also a... So, just a regular souvenir? 
Uh, I'm afraid this is all I had time for. However, I hope it leaves you with a lasting impression of your trip to Mondstadt. I, I really don't understand why you went to all this trouble. I don't have any goods or relevant documents. Plus, I don't exactly look like your everyday honest merchant. Even if there were nothing to suggest otherwise, surely it would have been better to take me straight to the Knights for investigation. And yet you still went to all this effort to prepare all this for me. Didn't you wonder whether the savage monsters, the missing cargo, what if it were all lies? Why would I think that? I'm just doing what a maid of Favonius should do. Knights of Favonius Handbook Article 2. Do not exhibit suspicion or hostility towards visitors, no matter how suspicious they may seem. You are a visitor from far away. You should be welcomed by me and by Mondstadt, even if there really is only a slight possibility that everything you say is true. Being attacked by savage monsters, losing goods and documents, isn't it times like these that people need help the most? And if I had failed to offer our hospitality on such an occasion, despite there being no evidence to back up your claims, well, that's not the way a maid of Favonius should behave. I see. Well, thank you. It's time for me to leave Mondstadt. Huh? Why the hurry? We haven't recovered your lost property yet. No need. I just remembered where I left them. Somewhere far, far away. I'll be sure to keep a better eye on them next time. Perhaps when I'm a visitor worthy of your hospitality, I can return to Mondstadt. Um, I'm not sure I fully understand what you mean. But if you think you can retrieve your lost property, that's great. What a short trip. But thank you for your care and hospitality. I've learned a lot. <sighs> Goodbye, Mondstadt. Goodbye, Maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, uh, okay then. Goodbye, Mondstadt and I, Maid Noel of the Knights of Favonius, will always welcome you when you return. Oh, here's your order, Noel. Thanks, Marjorie. Mr. Eloise? Please accept this souvenir. Uh, thanks. I will treasure this wood carving for a... Huh? Wait. What's on that... Is that... The insignia of the Knights of Favonius? I, Maid Noel, on behalf of Mondstadt and the Knights of Favonius, officially welcome you. Wait. Knights of Favonius... How can you be both a maid and a part of the Knights of Favonius? So, so this gift is also a... So, just a regular souvenir? Uh, I'm afraid this is all I had time for. However, I hope it leaves you with a lasting impression of your trip to Mondstadt. I, I really don't understand why you went to all this trouble. I don't have any goods or relevant documents. Plus, I don't exactly look like your everyday honest merchant. Even if there were nothing to suggest otherwise, surely it would have been better to take me straight to the Knights for investigation. And yet you still went to all this effort to prepare all this for me. Didn't you wonder whether the savage monsters, the missing cargo, what if it were all lies? Why would I think that? I'm just doing what a Maid of Favonius should do. Knights of Favonius Handbook Article 2. Do not exhibit suspicion or hostility towards visitors, no matter how suspicious they may seem. You are a visitor from far away. You should be welcomed by me and by Mondstadt. Even if there really is only a slight possibility that everything you say is true. Being attacked by savage monsters, losing goods and documents, isn't it times like these that people need help the most? And if I had failed to offer our hospitality on such an occasion, despite there being no evidence to back up your claims... Well, that's not the way a maid of Favonius should behave. I see. Well, thank you. It's time for me to leave Mondstadt. Huh? Why the hurry? We haven't recovered your lost property yet. No need. 
I just remembered where I left them. Somewhere far, far away. I'll be sure to keep a better eye on them next time. Perhaps when I'm a visitor worthy of your hospitality, I can return to Mondstadt. Um, I'm not sure I fully understand what you mean. But if you think you can retrieve your lost property, that's great. What a short trip. But thank you for your care and hospitality. I've learned a lot. <sighs> Goodbye, Mondstadt. Goodbye, Maid of the Knights of Favonius. Ah, uh, okay then. Goodbye. Mondstadt and I, Maid Noel of the Knights of Favonius, will always welcome you when you return. <laughs>